As you guys might know, when it comes to antique firearms, the ones that interest me are the unusual ones. And we've got one of those here. So, looks like a walking stick, right? And that's what it is, in part. But this isn't just a walking stick that can fire a bullet. To me, that'd be more of a gadget cane, and that capacity would be hidden. This is not hidden, right? Look at the top of this thing, it's very clear what you're walking with. That's why the seller called this a cane-style rifle versus a cane rifle. And I think that was a quality distinction that they made there. There's the bottom of the weapon, the part that's going to contact the, make contact with the ground. And there's another view of it. It's nice and sturdy, but it's got an extra surprise. Obviously, the fact that this is a gun, so you know that's going to get removed. But when it does get removed, we have a dagger. And this is really interesting because we've essentially got a plug bayonet, right? It has to be removed before you can actually fire the weapon. Presumably in a self-defense situation, you're only gonna get one shot with the rifle, with that percussion rifle, so it certainly makes sense to provide the user with some backup, and that is this six inch blade here. The only thing is, as you can imagine, you need some prep time. You need to be able to remove this first, so you can then use the rifle, and you're good to go. A lot of gentlemen's self-defense canes had blades and pistols and things hidden in them, but they usually came out of the top, and if you think about it, that's going to be a quicker motion. Here you've got to get down to the very bottom of the cane, kind of flip it over. And that does not seem as efficient to me, and it could cost you your life, but once you do get that dagger out, then here's the barrel. 52 caliber. Let's move on to the other end. Walnut grip. Great wear and tear detail there. Walnuts used a lot because, as you can see, it just has a great look. This is not the fanciest firearm you're ever going to see. And, you know, these gadget canes, defense canes, often they had a nice flourish to them because the owners had money. But I'm blurring the lines and contradicting myself a little bit because, like I said earlier in the video, I don't think it's a true gadget cane since its uh, purpose is not hidden. It's more a rifle-dagger combination that could be mistaken for a walking stick than a walking stick that hides a rifle and dagger. Got the serial number stamped right on there, still shows really well, and we think of these things in terms of England very often, right? The Victorian era England, but they were made in America, as this one was, in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.